Okay, for this project, um, I'm going to be using Caron Simply Soft. I actually made this already and I did a tutorial for it, but I accidentally deleted the videos off of my camera before I could make it. So I did show a picture to the people on Facebook what it was going to look like. And if you've seen that, this is the type of yarn I used for the first one I did. Is Red Heart Boutique Unforgettable. So I did one in this, and now I'm going to redo it because I was so mad that I did that. Deleted all them videos off, but I'm going to redo it with this one. So you could use any one of these yarns or any other type of four ply yarn that you have will work. And then I'm going to be using a size I five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm making this to fit my, I have a plus size man mannequin, and I'm making it to fit that. And the size that it says a mannequin is, is 1X slash 2X. So if that helps you out on the sizing, that's about what size it's going to be for. And you want to start out with a chain of 75. And then once you get your chain of 75 done, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the second stitch from the hook. And we're just going to go through and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. So one single in every stitch until you get to the end of your chain. Okay, I made it to the end here after my one single crochet in every stitch. Now we're going to start working double crochets. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now I'm going to be working in the very, very, very first stitch. Very first one. And I'm going to go into it and I'm going to double crochet. Like that. And then I'm going to go to the next stitch and double crochet. And then I'm going to go to the next one and double crochet. So that's three double crochets in a row. And now I'm going to do an increase on the next stitch. So I'm going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. Both in the same stitch. Like that. Now I'm going to do three double crochets in a row, one in each step, the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three, and then I'm going to do my increase where I put two double crochets in the same stitch. Like that. And then again, I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then the next stitch is going to be an increase. It's going to get two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's going to be the repeat now. You can see I put three double crochets in between each of the increased stitches. Here's an increase, increase, and there's three double crochets in between. So again, I'll just start off putting one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then the next one will be an increased stitch. It'll get two double crochets in the same stitch. So just go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way to the end. I'm coming to the end here and I just did my last increase stitch and I'll have two stitches left so just go ahead and put one double crochet in each of those last two stitches. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now again, always we're going to be working in that very first stitch. So this time we're going to have four double crochets in between the increases. 
So starting in that very first stitch, there's one double crochet, the next one, two, three, and four, and then the next one is going to be an increased stitch. Two double crochets in the same stitch. And then one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. There's one, two, three, four, and then the next one is an increased stitch. Two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's the pattern you want to repeat all the way to the end. Four double crochets in between each of the increases. Coming to the end of my second row of the double crochet and I just did a increased stitch and again I'll have two stitches left so just go ahead and finish them out with one double crochet in each of them. And then you want to chain one again and turn. Starting in the very, very first stitch, we're going to do five double crochets in between the increases this time. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then the next is going to be our increase two double crochets in the same stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next five stitches one two three four five and then the increase stitch two double crochets in the same stitch. So just go ahead and repeat that pattern of five double crochets in between each of the increased stitches all the way to the end. Coming to the end again and I just did my last increase and again I have two stitches left. Go ahead and finish them out with one double crochet in each stitch. Then you want to chain one and turn and now this time around it's going to be six double crochets in between the increases. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and oh, six, and then the next one's an increase stitch two double crochets in the same stitch. So just go ahead and repeat that pattern of six double crochets in between the increases until you get to the end. Again, I have two stitches left. Go ahead and finish them out with one double crochet in each stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. Sorry about that noise over there. My little uh, 20 month olds over there playing beside me. So. I hope it is not too loud. We're going to start now putting one double crochet in every stitch. We're not going to increase anymore. So now we're just going to be working back and forth putting just one double crochet in every stitch. And I'm just going to keep working putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side. Just like this. Okay, when you make it to the end there, you just want to do the same thing. Chain one and turn. And starting in the very first stitch, continue across with one double crochet in each stitch. And you want to do that a total of five times. So five rows of one double crochet in each stitch. And this is what you'll have so far after you do your five. You have a total of nine rows all together, counting all these increases that we did. So one, two. And that's what you want. And then we're going to mark off for the arms. 
Okay, you just want to lay your piece out right here is the front of the opening. And don't tie off or anything. I just stopped right here and I'm going to pick up in the same spot that I left off at in a minute. But you're going to need four stitch markers. I'm just going to use a couple pieces of yarn and I already have one side marked off. So this side, what you want to do is start. You want to do it to both sides. Start on the very first stitch. Count over 24 stitches. Put a stitch marker in that 24th stitch. And then counting that stitch with the stitch marker, you want to count over 32 stitches. Put another stitch marker. Stitch marker and a 32nd one. Okay, just like that. And you want to do the same to the other side, which I already did. Now I'm just going to pick up where I left off. And I'm going to do my chain one and turn. And now I'm going to continue putting one double crochet in each stitch until I get to my first stitch marker. Up to my first stitch marker and I want to go ahead and double crochet into the stitch that has the stitch marker and I want to go ahead and move it because I don't need it anymore now I'm going to do a chain of 15 Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip all these stitches and then I'm just going to double crochet into my next stitch marker. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the stitch that has the stitch marker, and double crochet. Like that. I can take out that stitch marker. And now I'm just going to continue around. Now we're working kind of on the back side. You can see putting one double crochet in each stitch until I get to my next stitch marker. Up to my next stitch marker and I'm going to do the same thing. Double crochet into the stitch with the marker and then I'm going to do my chain of 15 again skip all these next stitches and reach over to my next stitch marker and double, double crochet into the stitch that has the marker. Oh. And then I'm just going to continue putting one double crochet in the rest until I make it to the end. to the end. You want to chain one and turn. And now I'm just going to be working again. Putting one double crochet 
in each stitch. All the way across until I get to my armhole here and I'll meet back up with you right here. Get here to your first armhole. We're just going to continue double crocheting one in every stitch and we're going to do one double crochet for every stitch of the chain that we made too. So we did 15 so you just got to go across and put one in each of the stitches of the chain. I want double crochet for every stitch of the chain. You just want to continue across the back side of your work now. That's the, that's the area we're at right now. Putting one double crochet in each stitch until you get to the next chain, the next armhole. And we're just going to do the same thing we just did. One double crochet for every stitch of the chain of the next armhole. And then you just continue out until you get to the other side. Putting one double crochet in every stitch. Made it to the end, and I'm going to chain one and turn. Now I'm just going to start again, doing one double crochet in every stitch. Now it's just going to be rows of double crochet back and forth. Through here. And here's the armhole. You just go along and go around to the back, to the other armhole, to the other side. This armhole, we'll put the sleeves on later, so we won't do anything with this right now. So right now I'm just going to continue working one double crochet in each stitch for several rows until I get a good length that I want. And I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm going to do, so I'll let you know how many I do total here in just a second. After, here's my armhole, starting right here with the very first row after the armhole. I've done 16 rows of double crochet, but you do yours for as long as you want your sweater to be. I know everybody's different, everybody wants different lengths, so whatever is good for you. But once you get it the length that you want it to be, What you want to do is, I'm right here where I left off, I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to start going up the side here, putting one single crochet in every stitch. And this is just going to clean up the edges a little bit. Now these, um, going up the side here, it's going to be kind of hard to see where the stitches are supposed to go. So you just want to kind of evenly space your single crochets out, best that you can. Just like this. And that's what I do anyways, I just try to get them as even as I can. And we're going to work this row of single crochet all the way up this side. And then we're going to continue around the collar of the shirt all the way up the side. And then we're going to continue around the collar. And then we're going to go back down the opposite side. And then we're going to go around the bottom. And then we're going to eventually we'll work our way back around to right back here to where we just started. So that's what we, I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to keep going up this side, around the collar, back down the other side, and then 
around the bottom with one single crochet in every stitch and then when I get back here I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first single crochet and then I'm going to tie off and then I'm going to get started on the arms I went around my whole piece with my row of single crochet and kind of cleaned up the edges now for the sleeves I'll try to show you here Here's my sleeve hole. And right here in these little corner areas, kind of underneath the arm, is where I'm going to be doing the decreases. So right here. So, I mean, that's the only spot that I'll be doing them to. Oh, none of this right here will get, will get any decreases. Just these little, these two uh, corner spots. So I'm going to start in the back here, and you can start, I'm not going to start in that corner spot, I'm going to start a couple stitches before it, or after it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull my yarn through, and I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch around until I get to that first corner spot. So all the way around, one thing or one double crochet right here, all the way around this top part until I get to right here. So I'm going to go ahead and work, and when I get to here, I'll meet back up with you it over here to my first little corner spot that I showed you and if you look closely you can see that there's a double crochet here that's on its side and there's like stitches on this side and on this side and you see this one's um, facing the opposite direction as the other ones now that's gonna we're gonna go into that one we're gonna be decreasing over it two times so we're gonna go into the stitch before that one you see it right here Yarn over and go into it and drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Now I'm going to go into the first half of this double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, go in the first half of it, draw up a loop, and I still have these other loops on my hook. Yarn over and go through the first two, and I'm going to yarn over and go through all three. So that was a double crochet decrease. Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go into the last half of this double crochet and then the first stitch over here. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, yarn over again and go into the next stitch over here, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, and then all three. Like that. So I double crochet decreased twice in that little corner. Now I'm going to work my way across again putting one double crochet in each stitch until I get to that next little corner spot that I showed you and we're just going to do the same thing that we just did you see it it coming up here Not too far. Okay, and again you can see the one double crochet that's on its side. So I'm going to work in the stitch before that and that's where I'm going to start my decrease. Drop a loop, go through the first two loops, yarn over them, I'm going to go through the first half of this double crochet. 
because it first two and all three. So that's our first double crochet decrease. We're doing the same thing we just did on the other side. Now I'm going to go to the other half of this double crochet and do the same thing. And then the first stitch over here. Just like that. So we did two double crochet decreases. And now we'll just finish up by putting one double crochet in each stitch until you get back to your beginning stitch. And I'm going to happen to be there, so I'm just going to slip stitch into my beginning double crochet chain one, double crochet back into that same stitch. Now I'm going to work my way around again, putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get back around to where I just did those decreases. So I'll meet back up with you over here where we did our first set of decreases back around to where I did the decreases before and you can see them one here and one here now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a double crochet decrease over these two decreases so just one this time so I'm gonna yarn over and go to that first stitch that we decreased drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops and I'm gonna yarn over again and go through the next stitch that we decreased drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and I'm going to go through all three, like that. Now I'm going to work my way around, again, putting one double crochet in every stitch till I get back around to my next set of decreases that we did on the previous row. And then I'm just going to do the same thing. Again, to my next set of decreases. You can see them right there, one here and one here. I'm just going to decrease over them double crochet decrease over them like that slip stitch into my first double crochet like that then I'm going to chain one go back in the same stitch double crochet now from here on out it's just going to be rows of one double crochet in each stitch no more decreasing now you can do your sleeves as long as you want. You can have short sleeves, three-quarter sleeves, long sleeves. It's really up to you. I'm going to do four more rows of, of this one double crochet in each stitch because I'm going to have short sleeves. But you do as many as you want. But I'm going to go ahead and finish my four rows up and then I will just uh, end it by slip stitching into my first double crochet and tying off. And then I'm going to hide all my tails. Okay, I got it finished. After I finished that last sleeve, I just went ahead and sewed some buttons on with a regular thread needle. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to check me out on Facebook. I'll put a link below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.